In today's video, I'll be showing you how to fix an issue with Microsoft Defender Offline Scan not allowing you to scan your computer. So if I open up Microsoft Defender, and as you can see I currently have the Microsoft Defender Offline Scan selected, if I click on Scan now and then click on Scan, as you can see it's not doing anything and it should be popping up with a message saying that my computer will be restarting shortly, but it's not doing that. No matter how long I leave my computer, it will not restart to do the Microsoft Defender offline scan. So to fix this issue, I have a few different methods that you can do and hopefully one of those methods will get the scan working again on your computer. So the first thing you need to do is just simply click on a different option, like full scan or quick scan. Once you've done that, now go ahead and select Microsoft Defender offline scan again and now click on scan now and then scan and see if that allows you to restart into the offline scan. If that didn't work like it hasn't on my computer, then the next thing you need to do is just simply restart Windows and see if that resolves the issue. If restarting doesn't fix the issue either, then we now need to go onto the start menu and you now need to type in disk and you then need to select disk cleanup. You now need to select your C drive and you then need to select clean up system files and then press OK again on your C drive. You now need to go through and select everything in this list. If you don't want to clear your temporary internet files then that's fine. But everything else system related we want to clean up. Also if you don't want to do your recycle bin that's fine. Temporary files I would recommend you keep that on but just be warned it will remove any temporary files and you will not be able to get the files back again. So once you're happy with your selection you can now go ahead and press OK. As you can see I'm about to clear up 4 gig. You now need to click on delete files. Once disk cleanup has finished go ahead and see if you can now do the offline scan. If you're still unable to do the offline scan then the next thing we need to do is right click on the start menu icon and you now need to click on settings. You now need to select update and security and you just need to ensure you have the latest updates installed by clicking on check for updates. If Windows does detect any new updates restart your computer once they've finished installing and then try and do the offline scan. As you can see there's a new update there available for me so installing this update will hopefully resolve the issue. So I'm going to click on download and install. Also the next thing you need to do while we're doing the updates is click on Windows Security and open up Windows Security and then click on Virus and Threat Protection. You now need to scroll down and click on check for updates under Virus and Threat Protection Updates. You then need to click on check for updates and just ensure Windows Defender is up to date. So as you can see mine is up to date. Normally the updates will come through on the Windows update but that's just another method of checking everything's up to date. So I'm going to leave that downloading now and then I will restart my computer once that update's finished installing. After you have restarted your computer and installed the latest update, if you're still unable to do the offline scan, you now need to open up the start menu and type in CMD. You now need to run command prompt as an administrator and you now need to type in SFC space forward slash scan now and press enter. This will now scan Windows to see if it can detect any corrupted system files and if it does it will then attempt to repair those files. So as you can see corrupted files were found on my system and they've been successfully repaired. So if you have had the same corrupted files have been detected and been repaired, now restart Windows and then see if you can do an offline scan now. If you're still unable to do a scan, then the next thing you need to do is right click on the start menu icon and click on settings. You now need to click on update and security and then Windows security. And you now need to click on open security. And we now need to go to virus and threat protection and then click on scan options. And you now need to do a full virus scan on your computer. So select full scan and then click on scan now. And let this run and once it has finished running if it did detect any viruses and remove them then restart and then you should be able to do the offline scan. If you're still unable to do the offline scan then the only other thing you can try is doing the PowerShell command that forces 
the offline scan to happen. And to do this, all you need to do is open up the start menu, and you now need to type in power, shell, and you now need to right click on Windows PowerShell and go run as administrator. You now need to type in start, and then hyphen, mpw, do, and then scan, and then press enter. And after running the PowerShell command, if that still didn't then do the offline scan, then the next easiest thing would be to reset Windows. And to do this, all you need to do is right click on the start menu icon and click on settings. You then need to click on to update and security, and you now need to click on recovery, and then you want to click on get started under reset this PC. You now want to select keep my files, and this will remove apps and settings but it will keep your personal files. I would recommend that you do back up all your important files though to a portable hard drive. So go ahead and click on keep my files and then allow that to run and then you should be able to do the offline scan again. So I hope this video helped you out and you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials.